The president released a speech yesterday on Facebook. He called it, quote, the most important speech he's ever made. He repeated a long list of claims about voter fraud and accused Democrats of a conspiracy to steal the election. So what should Americans take away from this? Well, we here at DBL, we believe that facts matter. So to that end, we want to share with you this fact check from our Verify team out of D.C., WUSA, our affiliate. Verify is our parent company's fact-checking initiative. Take a look. President Trump posted a 46-minute presentation to social media Wednesday. So let's talk specifics. This is Michigan. At 6.31 in the morning, a vote dump of 149,772 votes came in unexpectedly. False. We investigated this claim 27 days ago. The charts seemed to show a spike, but it was actually due to a typo. Instead of 15,000, someone put in 150,000. The error was only online, not in an official vote count, and quickly fixed. The official numbers were never wrong. In one Michigan county, as an example, that used Dominion systems, they found that nearly 6,000 votes had been wrongly switched from Trump to Biden. False. Fact checked 20 days ago. A county clerk in Michigan forgot to update a voting machine, which caused the online preliminary report to be off. But they caught the issue because the county had a paper count of the votes, which showed the difference. The votes had never been switched, and the issue only affected the preliminary count online. But that wasn't the only claim the president made about Dominion. Who owns it, which we don't know? Where are the votes counted, which we think are counted in foreign countries, not in the United States. We do actually know who runs Dominion. Their CEO is John Poulos. He testified before Congress about voting security in January of this year. My name is John Poulos, and I am the chief executive officer of Dominion Voting Systems. Government documents from the Election Assistance Commission do show that Dominion is an American company headquartered in Denver, Colorado. As for the claim that votes were counted outside the United States, there's literally no evidence to back that up. We broke this claim down 13 days ago with the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, and VerifiedVoting.org, showing that almost all U.S. states have a paper trail, and those votes are counted in the counties that they're cast in. Keep in mind, while there are still ongoing lawsuits in some states, so far none of them have turned up issues that would change the outcome of the election or indicate a scheme to rig or steal the election. Wow. Uh, listen, uh, Tori, what do you make of this? Because even though many of our viewers will say this is helpful, some of our viewers still won't believe those facts. How do we deal with that as a country today? Um, I saw a really interesting report in the New York Times about how to speak to people who just don't believe the same facts as you. And one way you can just simply say is that at some point, you're being conned, right? It's, 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 um, you're being delivered something that isn't true and you're actually, the person in charge of this con doesn't care about you. So you can keep going and you keep believing this, but it's not to your benefit. This is, this is for their benefit and they don't actually care about you. And I hope you hear that. Well, I think a lot of people would also say that person would say back to you, no, you're being conned. And that's the that's the problem that we have. We don't right, have time to go right. into it, but I think that everybody's got their own set of facts. What do we do when Trump goes away? What do we do? I don't think we Nothing. know. Nothing. I don't think we know. <laughs>